What is it? I'm sorry, sir. I tried, but no one here is going it. to enlist. Unacceptable, Captain. Either deliver me recruits or deliver me your resignation. What will I do now? Without the Shornhelm Guard, I'm nothing. I told the General, I'm a soldier, not a recruiter. But now, I'm to be discharged if I fail? It's not right. I've tried to do my duty, but I can't force people to enlist. <sighs> not a single one. Montclair's war has decimated our ranks, and people now see enlisting in the Guard as a foolhardy proposition. I have a few prospects, but... They seem to have no sense of duty. I don't know. Maybe my manner is just too harsh. Certainly. I have one prospect who should be simple. Martin Datu. He's in the stocks for Mara's sake, but I can get him released if he enlists. When I spoke to him, however, he was stubborn and rude. Perhaps you could talk to him? spoken with the constable and he agreed to release Martin if the young man will enlist. I simply can't understand why a criminal would choose the stocks over doing his duty for his kingdom. Because Rivenspire is a mess. Blood fiends roam across the land. Montclair loyalists attack our towns. Need I say more? Yes, but this? Let's face it, this new civil war has taken its toll. I've already spoken with the constable, and he agreed to release Martin if the young man will enlist. If you come to poke fun at the prisoner, you'd better think twice. I'll be out of these stocks soon. And then you'll have to watch your back. They may not have enough evidence to hold me, but that doesn't mean I'm not a dangerous criminal. They say I broke into Jirion's ironworks and robbed the place during the night. But they haven't got any proof. Besides, my friend is going to come forward and vouch for me. I was at his house drinking mead all night. and get myself killed? I can't do that. My father went back to the dirt 15 years ago and my family needs me around. My mother would fall to pieces and my sister doesn't make enough coin to support herself, let alone the both of them. They are going to release me, aren't they? Has Olivier really not come forward? He will. I know he will. Can you believe that? I heard what Martin said. He's either completely delusional or incredibly naive. He's been a troublemaker all his life, and he's not getting out of those stocks anytime soon. We have enough. We found his bootprints in the mud outside the broken window. He was involved. 
I'm not sure he was alone, but he was there. In fact, that friend of his, that Olivier? I suspect he may have helped with the robbery. And that's the thing. Olivier said he didn't see Martin at all that night. Some friend, huh? If they weren't such amateurs, though, I don't think the constable would have made the deal with Captain Thayer. Frankly, I'm surprised the Shornhelm Guard is willing to take on such riffraff. If Martin doesn't take the deal Captain Thayer's offering, he deserves to rot in the stocks. For dull-wittedness, if nothing else. I saw you over there at the stocks talking to Martin. Does that fool still think I'm coming to his rescue? He's like a babe in the woods. I told him not to wear those fancy boots. It's not my fault he wouldn't listen. Yeah, so what? I wasn't dumb enough to leave any proof for that constable to find, so I'm in the clear. And don't expect me to risk my neck sticking it out to vouch for Martin. As far as I'm concerned, he's better off in the stocks. Welcome to the Dusklight Inn. Not exactly the lap of luxury, but we try to make our customers comfortable. The cost of a room's cheap, and if you're as broke as I am, that's all that matters. What? You mean because Martin's in the stocks? I don't know if I'd say that makes things harder. Wait, did Martin say something to you? I'd rather not discuss this. Our family's finances really aren't anyone's business but our own. Really? Well, the truth is that Martin's only ever been a drain on our family's resources. His big ideas never amount to a hill of beans. I wouldn't tell him, but the best thing he could do is enlist. We could really use another steady income now. Martin's my older brother, so I've looked up to him ever since I was just a child. Somehow, someday, I know he's going to change his ways, whatever path he chooses in life. Use a break. Ah, an adventurer. Always so inspiring to have someone like you around town. I hope my son Martin would take up an exciting profession like that. But I'm beginning to think the poor boy just doesn't have it in him. He worries me sick, you know. No, I'm afraid the opposite is true. He's never had a good role model, you know. His dear father was King Ranser's most trusted general. He died up at Traitor's Tor. They say he died a dishonorable death. It's a shame we'll never know the truth. He did? You know this for certain? I can't tell you how much that warms an old woman's heart. I always knew he died honorably. 
Martin, though. He was ashamed. You should go and tell him. He needs to know the truth about his father. I do. Martin's always been ashamed. Every chance he's had to make something of himself, he's shied away from it for fear that he would fail, like his father did. If he knew his father died honorably, I think it would inspire him. I worry that if he enlists just to get out of trouble, that would be the wrong reason. If someone could tell Martin that his father died a hero, that would inspire him to follow in his father's footsteps, to join and fight with honor. I can talk about my son all day long if you like. I do love him so. I just hope he eventually straightens himself out. I saw you over there at the stocks talking to Martin. Does that fool still think I'm coming to his rescue? He's like a babe in the woods. I told him not to wear those fancy boots. It's not my fault he wouldn't listen. Yeah, so what? I wasn't dumb enough to leave any proof for that constable to find, so I'm in the clear. And don't expect me to risk my neck sticking it out to vouch for Martin. As far as I'm concerned, he's better off in the stocks. Wait! No, please! Please don't! I'd go mad in the stocks! Look, I don't know how to sell these stolen goods anyway. How about this? I'll just leave them on the constable's doorstep tomorrow morning. That will clear Martin's name. Is that enough? I don't think there's anything more for us to talk about. Frankly, I'm surprised. Have you made any progress with Martin? I hope you won't give up. For my sake and for the sake of Shornhelm, we need soldiers. They are going to release me, aren't they? Has Olivier really not come forward? He will. I know he will. Why? Olivier's not going to vouch for me, is he? That backstabbing arsehole. I can't enlist, though. I just can't. I'm just not cut out to be a soldier. And my mother and my sister need me here. You know about my father? You mean, you were there, weren't you? He did die with honor, didn't he? I, I don't know. Perhaps you're right. Maybe I was born to be a soldier, and I've just been running from my destiny. All right, I'll enlist. I hope this is the right decision. I'd be lying if I said I didn't still have some reservations. But I suppose this'll at least give me a chance to earn some coin. So, you were able to talk some sense into Martin? I'm glad. You did a good thing. Not many people would take the time to help a common criminal like Martin Datu. You've certainly done your due diligence. I really appreciate the efforts, but I had a feeling it wouldn't work. Some people just have no sense of duty, and I guess Martin falls into that category. You did? Excellent. I don't know what you said to him, but I don't care. It's my duty to get new recruits, and you helped me fulfill it. Thank you. I'll have the deputy release him, and we'll get him whipped into shape in no time. 
You really have the knack for this. While I'm getting Martin released, I wonder, would you be at all open to taking a crack at another one of my stubborn prospects? Her name's Suga. She's got a mouth on her, but she'd make a good soldier. The constable and I are taking bets on how long before Martin annoys an officer and winds up back in the stocks. I really do wish him the best, but my gold's on two weeks. I don't think there's anything more... I assume you've heard that Martin enlisted in the Shornhelm Guard. I'm glad, but I do worry for his safety. I hope he enlisted for the right reasons. Did you hear? Martin decided to enlist. Though I will worry for his safety, I really do think this is the best thing for him. And for all of us. I don't know if you had a hand in this, but if you did, thank you.